oil prices rose on Tuesday on expectations that major producers would agree to extend output cuts that have shown up prices during a video conference likely to be held this week. Bench benchmark crude rose 2.3% to $39.20 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude climbed 2% to $36.16 a barrel. Brent has doubled in the past six weeks thanks to supply cuts by the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries and its allies, including Russia, a group known as OPEC+. Plus. But oil prices are still 40% down so far this year. Meanwhile, in Kenya, the economy has further deteriorated in the second quarter as confinement measures to slow the spread of COVID-19 are constantly constraining domestic activities while lockdowns abroad are depressing tourism, revenues and remittance inflows. I am now joined by James Wanjagi of the National Bank of Kenya. Good afternoon, James. Good afternoon, Irene. Thank you so much for joining us on the news. Thank you. Certainly. Now, what can you say in response to the recent declining value of the Kenyan shilling, which has dropped by 1%? So, Irene, much obliged for inviting me. I just, um, if you notice, our shilling has actually oscillated between 102 and 108. It's currently about 106.4, and that's from a high of 107 the last couple of uh, weeks. And some of the reasons of this uh, devaluation or declining are the fact that some of our exports like floriculture and horticulture are no more. And you know that uh, collectively agriculture uh, accounts for about 35% of our uh, GDP. Okay. There is no tourism receipts, which accounts for about 10% of our GDP. And there's definitely a dip in the uh, diaspora remittances. And you know that uh, the diaspora remittances account for about 2.9% of the GDP. So those are some of the things that could be responsible for the declining value of the Kenyan shilling. Now, how can you describe the, how would you describe the Kenyan economy currently, particularly with the fact that, for for example, the fourth quarter of 2019 was a decrease of about 5.4 percent? So, we are seeing a decline of um, just generally our economy. We're seeing manufacturing jobs leaving uh, because you know people are not going to work. We are seeing um, our exports on tea and some of the other. Uh, agricultural products are uh, no longer being um, in, in the commodity market. And some of these things are really impacting um, impacting our economy. And, um, you know, we're hoping things will get better, but as of now, the economy is getting hit. Now, can you shed some light on the MPC cut of the central bank rate by 25 basis points to 7% at the MPC media briefing? Yes, so the indication uh, or by all the indications we have a sharp contraction in our economy. You've, you've seen the restricted movement of people and this is resulting of course in unemployment levels that are high. We are seeing the constrained supply chain and reduced production. So the policy measure of reducing uh, CBR from 7 uh, to 7.0 from 7.2.5 is really meant to, to mitigate not just the economic, but the health and the social, and even the financial impact of the pandemic. It should help with the recovery, and hopefully we see incremental um, spending or spa of spending. And um, if that happens, uh, the goal is to kind of help us push our, our GDP up to 2% um, by the end of 2019-2020, uh, um, even though initially it was projected to be 6.1. So, so this is just because of um, everything that's happening um, with our economy and, uh, and the government and, uh, the, and CBK are trying to really spur spending um, as we hopefully come out of lockdown and things like that. James Wanjagi of the National Bank of Kenya, it's always a pleasure having you on the news. Thank you. Certainly.